Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jersey and today we are bringing you a brand new Valley tour and we are visiting KK. She also has a YouTube channel, so you need to go down to the description, check it out. She does DDV content three times a week. So excited. So if you're looking for that extra DDV content, another person to follow, to grab inspiration, then make sure you go down there, hit that link, Click on it, check it out, like what you see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and check out KK. But okay, like always, we're here. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything. We're gonna get our first reveal. And like always, I always like to start like in the plaza area. So we're gonna kind of slowly turn this camera around and... Okay, so you already can tell the beauty the beauty of the nature that we have here. Oh my goodness, look at the trees. Actually, you know, so we got this little well in here, right in the middle. I like how she framed those two trees right there. And it makes this beautiful archway. And then you see through the well, this, that is so incredibly nice. I really like that. Okay, so we're gonna pan the camera around, you know, we wanna see what we see first on the corners, right? What's the viewing from up here? You're coming from the castle, you're walking out of the castle, and what are you encountering? And look at these gazebos over here. Look at all the hedges. Now, this is very different. I've never seen so many hedges being used, and this is really nice. I'm a big fan of hedges. So I really loving this feel. Okay, so we're gonna start, you know, we're gonna start like always, and like always, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go left. We always go left, right? There's something about going in this direction that I really enjoy. So we're gonna get to this first, uh, this way out and look at this. Now, I really love this view. Look at this view from right here. I love this, how all these buildings are right here together. It has that downtown feel like, but there's a lot of trees, right? And I really like a lot of greenery next to the buildings looking really well love the feel of it love the clock tower right there and this the the big tree right here and then again we get more buildings over here this corner is fantastic like like it's so good it's so fantastic i really love the feel of it so let's walk it down and as you can see we got beautiful plaza the plaza trees we got the bushes we got the store and i really like how she got all this uh the walkways and she's using the one that has like the 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 edges so it gives it that nice clean look and look at this little beautiful outdoor eating area so well so well done you know and nice and quaint right very private just on the side really nice you know and we got the restaurant now one of the great thing is about it is just the way I love this clock right here like this clock looks so good next to the buildings especially when you're looking at from the plaza right looking from that direction looking this way it looks so good now the other thing that i'm noticing is the hedges right here i love the hedges to kind of close out and use it as a fence or as a divider that is great that is totally great now the other thing as we see in this little cluster of building is that she's using like the tower of terror the hollywood tower of terror like really nice just to give you again look at this so let me see if i can go through here and give a different look so we want to I wanna get that little look. Cause if you're coming from up here, right? This direction, look at this. And you're coming up. I really like this. Now, I don't know if she's planning to do something more over here. I almost feel like almost she can close this here and just make the back like a little alleyway, just to the back that it leads you to the top to where we're gonna go to the Forest of Valor, right? Like, I like the idea that we have that little back way in the back, just a little walkway and then over here, Maybe there's something else. And maybe she's in the plant. Maybe she's still working on it, right? But I love I love the nature. I love the tree that she got going on over here. Now, as a centerpiece, we got a beautiful centerpiece over here surrounded by beautiful fences, as you can see. And then we got one of the Monster Inc. apartment buildings. Really nice. Because, you know, monsters are always hungry. So, you know, really easy to go to the restaurant and get new clothes because, you know, they, you know they're monsters. They may be ripping clothes. You know doing stuff who knows what they're doing but you know it's close it's nice that they're close right close to it but as you can see very beautiful we got again another beautiful building and we come over this way and we get the beautiful hedges now i love what she's doing with the hedges here you know you don't see them a lot and i really like it and look at this view when you come over here and you stand right here 
this headdress really stand out. I really like it, right? It's a different take. It's not gonna be for everybody, right? Uh, these headdress are very big. They do take a lot of space. So a lot of, I've heard a lot of people don't use them as much because they're, they take a lot of space, right? They wish there was like half the size so you can get more in. But you know, she's, she's working it really well here. Really well. I really like the design and the way everything is just progressing, right? Okay, so before we go over here on the side in front of the houses, I wanna go now and go in this direction this way because look at this gazebo. So this is where I came in. So now this is a beautiful welcoming area. You know, it's one of the most important things now people are building is when you're inviting your friends or people like me that come and kind of do a little valley tour, right? How beautiful they're decorating this. And look at this. This centerpiece right here, the way she did it, the way she's using the flooring, the way she's using the beautiful, the beautiful arrangement with the flower and the bushes with the color scheme that she got going on that matches the capsule, right? So if you look at the lavender, matches that little purple that we got going on in the capsule. It's such a good, it's so good. I, I love the way all of that is matching together. And once again, look at all the little table. Now she did tell me, these tables are here on purpose for her community that they come in when they need resources. It's so such a great idea, right? So she is she's incorporating the whole welcoming system with an area where people can go there real quick, grab resources that they need if you're part of her community, you know, and grab what you need and then you can go. And it's so great. It's such a great idea. It's something to think about, right? If, if you're playing with a lot of friends and you guys share resources, why not do something like this? This is brilliant. This is so smart. I, it, I love it. I love it. It's just such a good idea. Okay, so as we can see, we're going to turn the camera around. We're going to look towards this direction. And one of the other things that you can see, we got a little more tables here, as you can see, uh, with more resources. And I love that. And maybe she will add more tables around here. I kind of almost like now if this area was filled with the tables and different resources. I think it will look fantastic like these empty spots right here because the feel of it is so cool. I love it. I love it so much. So, you know, maybe she does or maybe this is perfect what she needs for her community and her valley. Now we got a beautiful seating section over here looking great. I love if you look at the way she's doing this. This is really smart. You know, it's like a little L-shaped design. So we go this way, the pathing, and then we go straight down, right? And then we go and turn again. So it kind of, I kind of like she made a little Z going on. And now she's incorporating the benches like this one. And then we turn and again incorporate it there, looking great against the plaza. Really great, really nice. And then when we turn again, we go like this. I, I love it, I love it. And again, the beautiful lavender, you know, the purple, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. And then we did a little walkway over here leading towards the other side. I love little walkways. I love when you can go in and out in different way, in different areas. Oh, I just love it. Okay. So now in the front here, as you can see, so this is kind of like if you're going the back way towards mini home. Now this is very different. You know, I don't see many people doing houses in the plaza itself, but especially when we do a lot of buildings like this. So this is a really cool combination. Maybe this is something that you would love to do. And now they have their own private garden. So let me get over here so we can actually see from this angle. And look at this beautiful private garden. So now I can't wait to see what it looks from the bottom looking up because I love what she's done with the white fence and then doing it with the flowery panels over here. I think that's gonna look really nice from the other side as well. So I can wait for that. But look at the beautiful garden, you know, just nice, just to give it something. And then we got the mini home right over here. And then as a centerpiece, we got this beautiful, the beautiful fountain, another gazebo with a lot more food over there. And then we got Mickey and look at the division. Everything looks so good. It looks so good. Nature looks good. The backdrop looks amazing with all those trees and everything. So it's just a beautiful nature backdrop. All connected, all together. And then if you continue the pathing, as you can see, we go this way. And of course that leads you to the Sonar Plateau or the other section of the plaza. And when we come down here, then leads you to the other area that it looks fantastic already. Look at that, it looks so good. I love this little fountain right here. That little fountain right there just gives you a nice touch with the little bench, looks amazing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna backtrack just a little bit, right? And now we're gonna go to the meadow. And I, 
I still love coming to the metal through this direction right over here. So I love coming down here. And as you can see, we're going to start looking and look at the nature. Now, she did tell me that she loves uh, cottage core or use a lot of nature, use a lot of the bushes and the flowers. And look at this. Look at how beautiful and overwhelming. Now, if you love cottage core, you love to use bushes and flowers and all that color and just have trees everywhere. This particular section, maybe just for you, maybe just for you, because it absolutely looks stunning. Look, look, look how full it looks. It's incredible. It truly is incredible. Okay, so we're gonna come down. Now, the view towards the beach, nice and clean, nice and clear. And I love that the pathing is not just straight. As you can see, we got bushes kind of overtaking. I love that tree and taking over the side right where the bench is behind it. So it makes you force you to kind of curve and then curve and then hit the stairs that's gonna take you to the beach. Really like that little design right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come this way, come towards this direction. And as you can see, we got a beautiful walkway. And look at how, how all the bushes are done. The way, and that lavender, again, again, I'm saying lavender because they remind me of lavender. That might be lavender or maybe call something else, but I'm gonna call it lavender, okay? We're gonna call it lavender, but look at this. Look at that view. Look, look how this feels. It's truly magical. It, that's the word. It's just magical. It truly feels like a beautiful forest, you know, right in the meadow. Look at all the rocks, just the grass as well, just the way the grass is growing, looking really great. I love the division of the homes right here. So I love the way you take this passage right here, right? And it leads you right here to the one of the first homes. The little, a little extra duck, just a little bit. That's good. I love the little hammock right over here, as you can see. The barrels, the decorations. We got stones. Oh my gosh. And then look how she enclosed the wall right over here. So you just don't see towards the ocean, but it feels like you got this solid wall. Now, there's some water running on the other side. And I really want to see how that looks from the beach. So we'll, we'll get there at some point. We'll get there, right? But look at this. Love the passage. Jo just love the way the walkways are. The feel is so nice. And then we got a beautiful feel right over here. A beautiful garden. Right next to Goofy's home, as you can see. And look at that. We got this open view area right here. So you can see the ocean. So it's cool, you know, I've been to different places like this that they enclose this whole back view so you don't see the ocean. Now in this one, it's open, you know, and that's the great thing. Everybody has a different taste, you know, a different way to design, a different way to approach a bill. And I like the way she's doing it here. Now, as you can see, we got the fence over here. We got Wally's on the other side waiting for us. He wants to say hi, you know, but it's like a little private, you know, you can come back over here. So you have to go this way and go to the main entrance and look at this. So this is gonna take us to the front of the house. So as you can see, we are still outside. This is really cool. I like the way she kind of fenced this in. Let me see if I can get, okay, there we go. So we can get through here. Now again, look at this again, another beautiful dog right there on the floor, just putting the wood planks. So it makes it feel like you got a little dog heading towards, towards this little, little lake. This little, little lake. I like the creek, I like the fish. I like the way it's decorated, like I don't know the place for fishing. Really well done, really well done. And as you can see out here, you know, we got the cooler, the prepping the fish. This is really well thought out, the whole concept. And then now look at the wall. Now look at that wall. It looks so nice. It's such a nice backdrop. Again, you know, everybody has a unique taste and I love it, I love it. And as you can see, we got Goofy. So Goofy got the little stall. You know, this is nice. He's working almost from home, almost from home, right next door. Really nice. But again, beautiful, beautiful decorations. Beautiful. The walk, the walkway is stunning. The walkway is stunning. I want to get in here real quick because I want to get a little bit feel of all of this. Let me see how close we can get. Okay. So because look at, I really want you to look at the rearrangement here. Look at all the flowers. So we got open grass spots. We got the flowers. We got different plants. And the way the arrangement is, you know, it's not symmetrical. It's not perfect. It's, it's a little bit of wild, but still beautiful and specific. You know, this is not easy to do. You know, it's just placement, trial and error until you feel. So when if you're looking at this and you're like, man, I want to do something like this, you know, make it 
and see it right now. Take a screenshot, you know, kind of duplicate it, but then do what you feel, you know? Maybe you want to replace something. Maybe you want to do another color scheme, right? But the idea is here. The idea is here for you to be inspired because that's one of the most important parts, you know? And one of the most important parts when we do tours like this. Now, we're going to look at this direction. I want to stand in front here, look towards the castle, and I really like that you cannot even see the castle. Now, this is a very different take. Most people keep this middle open so we can see the grand and the castle in the background, right? But look at how cool this feels too. You know, it's a beautiful archway. All the trees are connecting on the top, but you can see the castle. Very different, very different, but really nice. So if this is something, you know, that you love using trees, a lot of trees, right? This is for you. This is for you. All right, so we're gonna continue to walk. We're gonna go towards this direction now. I love the way the passage, this, we talked about it earlier a little bit when we saw it from the other side, but you see how it curves? I really love that. I really love the way it curves. So I wanna take this passage this way and look at the beautiful flower, um, not flower, but the home, you know, that little mushroom home, look at that. But also it's not just that, but look how beautiful it is with that open sky section. Such a great way. I, I love that now we're not blocking the sky over here. It gives you that open. You see how the sunset is hitting the home right over there. Beautiful light, beautiful light complementing this whole area. And look at this. Love that pile of books over there, by the way. Love that pile of books. But look at this, utilizing it and kind of making the center area very full with beautiful nature. Look at, I almost missed it, but look at this little picnic area with the little, bas uh, little basket and bicycle right over here. It's so cute. It's just so cute. It's so nice. But I, I love, I truly love the way this home feels with the fields, with the grass, the lavender. I think the lavender in this biome is stunning. It's stunning. It just works. It works and their her plant selection has been on point, like on point. It just goes with everything. Look at that. Even using the bush trees right over here, right? So let me go around here, as you can see, because I want to see what's around here. So we're going to take a little slow. And as you can see behind it, we have another garden. I love this, all these little miniature gardens that we have across right now. You know, in different homes, we find different houses. I love it. I love it. We don't do that a lot, right? We we tend not to do gardens, so we utilize more of the space for a lot of decoration that we need. Look at the little vine wall back here again, also covering what's next behind it, so it feels more together. Love that, love that. The way she's using the panels right over here, again, those let it, uh, panels, the wooden, looks so good. It just looks so good. You know, it just makes you smile. You know, you come to uh, valleys like this, that they're so unique in their own way of doing things. And it, you just smile, you feel so, so good. And you're like, man, this is just amazing. Truly is amazing. Now we got the beautiful uh, vine lamps right over here. And look at this. And again, another back way area to get into the backyard where we got the garden. Okay, okay, you are doing yourself. I'm just saying this looks way, way too good. This is just amazing, amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna follow the path and the path is leading me towards this direction right over here. And look again, look at the glowing flowers now. Oh my goodness. In the yard, just in the walkway, leading you towards this way. Isn't that cool? And then look at this. We got a, like a little recreation, outdoor, reading, library, nook. Love it next to this big trunk of tree like this book area next to this giant, giant trunk is chef's kiss, chef's kiss. It's just, it's masterful. It's truly masterful. Love it, love it. And with the swing that it makes sense with the giant tree, come on. And then we got the beautiful cottage home that look, look at this angle. Look, look how we just frame this like this with the sun coming down, beautiful table with the flowers, with the violin. Come on, this is a beautiful screenshot right here. Beautiful screenshot. Take that screenshot, put it out there on your screen. This is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely, and look at the painting area. Oh my goodness. We even have a little painting area. Oh, oh 
Oh my word. Truly, truly amazing and wonderful. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go now to the next a little section of the biome. Uh, before we do that, uh, let me make sure we look at the back over here. And as you can see, we do have another beautiful pumpkin farm, another pumpkin farm right over here. Another little garden section. Love the little miniature gardens. I mean, it makes, brings me joy. It brings me joy. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the path and now we got two ways. I always like to come down this way and then walk my way around. So we're gonna come down here and look at this area. Now, this is an amazing area. I love how people make this area feel like a little swamp. Some people have been able to manage to make it feel completely different. But here we got that feel, right? And look at that. Again, if we, if we look up, look at how all the trees are taking over the sky. It's not something that you can see. You know, and then when you look straight down, look at look look at just this. Look at all those trunks, just the way it looks down through there. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so we got the, another beautiful clock tower right over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go this way and look at this arrangement over here, giving us that beautiful new fountain of Mickey and Walt Disney. I love the way she just kind of made this feel amazing, feels great, honoring the legacy. And look at that, I love it, I love it. It's magical, it feels great, love the flowers all the way around it. It's just super magical, super magical, super great. And great idea, it's another great idea of how to do that specific uh, design, right? And another way, maybe you don't know how to do or what to do with that statue, so that is a great way. And it's not in the plaza. You know, because most of us have been putting that statue right in the plaza. But look, you can still use it in other biomes and it looks fantastic. So as you can see, over here, we have more of the flowers that illuminate, you know, a little by uh, that illuminates when it gets a little dark. So I really like that take on it. Uh, we have this and we got a bunch of boats. I like the way the path leads up to here. Like if you were going to go into the boats, really great touch, a really great touch. And then look at this. Look at the back way. Look at the back of this biome area. I love the tents right here. Like it, it fits perfectly also the atmosphere, you know, because sometimes you go camping and nature kind of looks like this too, right? Uh, look at the tavern. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I love it. And I love it with all the decorations in the front. So we got all these crates over here, the barrels, the, the, the wooden uh, bear chair over here. Like all of this composition goes together so well. So well, and it fits the mood, right? Like, like it's a great idea to put that in this particular biome. Like, like I think it's perfect. It's perfect for it. Okay, so something that I missed and I'm, we don't wanna miss, you know, there's the, the fast travel well right over here. And then she kinda did a little outline over here, dividing the little, uh, the little ponds over here. And as you can see, again, Look at this nature right over here. The way it's designed with all the palm trees, the different trees, the different biome, the different and just bushes all the way around doing an amazing, an amazing design. And look at all the trees, the way they're all together. It really feels like you're like in a swamp area and then you got these giant trees. The roots are just coming out of the dirt. Such a great, such a great composition, such a great composition. Okay, so we're gonna backtrack a little bit and we're gonna come right over here. So we talk about the little camping area. As you can see, they even got a little training area. A little training area. I feel bad for the monsters, but you know, when you gotta train, you gotta train, right? You gotta get better. We gotta get stronger. And a little workout area as well. That is just a little, that's smart. That's smart. I, I like these little designs like that, that incorporates and gives you more to the story, right? Okay, and as you can see, again, another beautiful garden. Love. Something to think about. I love the little miniature gardens. They don't take too much spot. You have not they add a little more decoration and it's great to see. It's great to see. All right, let's see what we got over here. We got another beautiful, uh, the, the goofy stall and everything of the vegetable. We got a beautiful selling area. I love the picnic table as well. Look at that little corner behind there with the little vine walls, the little bookcase. And then it seems like we got a little painter's area again. I can't wait to get over there and see how all that is put together. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, this way, right? This is so cool because I feel like I'm a little... Like, wait. Which way do we need to go? Which one? Which way is the right way to go? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. So, we get another beautiful home. As you can see, it leads us. But look at the back. Now, this is cool. I love the way this bookcase makes it feel like it's like you're making a wall and then you come over here and then you get the bookcase. Love the all the books in the floor over here. Everybody's reading, everybody's using the books. And then in the corner, then we got another beautiful painting area with a little painter's table. Come on, come on. And then if you look on that direction that way, again, all you see is beautiful trees. Everything's full, you know, this whole swamp area is completely full. It's, it's wonderful. Wonderful design. You know, if you look at the floor in the which you're using the cobblestone uh, pathing, I believe that's cobblestone or the pathing that you just saw. Truly, truly beautiful. And then as we continue, you know, if you look at all the nature and the way everything is surrounded, the way you're using the little vine lamps right now is on point. The little separation. I love the pathway, by the way. You know, it's just little squares, little square, little square, and then surrounded with grass. Simple, but elegant, beautiful, and also fits the atmosphere perfectly, perfectly. And these trees, man, I mean, with the roots like this, it's perfect for this area, like truly perfect. All right, so as we warp around, then we got the little mansion. Now, this again, I love seeing this mansion here or in the, or sometimes in the Forgotten Lands, you know, they look really nice, you know, but I always like it here. It's just, it's almost like it was meant to be here, right? Like it's meant for this area, right? With all the vines growing and all that and the, and the woods kind of faded, like all of that is completely, it's just perfect for this area. It truly is. I love the way she did this kind of fencing. You see how she did it, but then she left it open that's really cool. It's a really cool design. It gives it something and it makes this centerpiece not just feel enclosed, but it just gives it a, a, a different type of elegance that I'm really liking and enjoying. Okay. And then we got a swing as you can see over there. So I want to come this way because this should lead you to the bridge right over here and leads you to the middle and look at this middle section here. And it's like a, a bunch of treasure area, codes, like examination area, working area. Look at this. Look how well all of this is decorated. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It just makes me so, so happy. So, so happy. Coming up with little areas like this that are decorated, fully functional, you know, and they have their purpose, they have the reason. You use your imagination to see what the story is amazing. And look at those columns with the vines growing. Come on, it's perfect. It's perfect. You know, a, a lot of, you hear me say a lot perfect because it is, it is. It's just, it's a perfect combination of item to really bring these areas to life, to bring these biomes to life. Okay, okay. It's, you're doing amazing things. You're doing amazing things. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna backtrack a little bit. And what we're gonna do, I wanna get, I wanna come down the official way when it comes to the valley, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go down into the beach section and area. Uh, and I love the way people do different things. In the last couple of valley tours, we have seen fully decked out. We have seen more of a normal beach style. And it's always great to see what people do on their, on their beach, right? because everybody has a very different, unique taste and way to approach it. And look at this. Now, this looks like a little beach carnival area. You know, look at the step board. We got the little machines. We got the, the little carousel. I love the balloons in the background. Like that is such a great touch. And look at the machinery, kind of like a little carnival area at the beach. I, I love this feel. I love this uniqueness to her design. Adventure is out there. Well, that's what we're doing today. We're adventuring on this beautiful valley, this beautiful area. And as you can see, I like this idea. This is great idea. You know, this little section here, it reminds me of the movie Big. You know, I mean, it's not the, the machine, but you imagine the big 
machine went, you know, and then you put it and then it's like, it grants you your wish to turn big. I, I don't know. I don't know. It reminds me of that. It just, out of nowhere, I remember that movie. Maybe the way the boardwalk is with the machinery here, you know, I don't know. There was something about it that it truly reminded me of that. But look at this. Now this, in this direction, it leads you to Pizza Planet. Come on. Pizza Planet at the beach, having some pizza. That's the, that's how you do it. That's how you eat pizza at the beach, enjoying the sunset, enjoying the waves, hearing the roar. And look at this little concession stand area. Look at that. We got the juice. We got the drinks. You got the machines. You got a beautiful, beautiful waterfall display in the back. Come on. That's so good. It's so good. And again, you can't go wrong with Pizza Planet being down here. And again, love the pathing, all the boardwalk, like all the planks. It looks fantastic. You can see the sand next to it, you know, behind it, underneath it. Oh, man. And look at this. Love the water. Love the waterfall. Love that tank. Okay, so as we come over here, look look at this. I love this right here. I love that we got this tent right in front on the goofy stall, you know, protecting from the sun. You know, now you got your fruit, you got more vegetable. Look at the way they stack all this crates right over here and kind of blocking the background at the same time. But the composition as the stall with the curtain, I think it's so good. I think it's so good. I think a lot of you are gonna love it. And then again, we got the Eric's chip over here. Uh, or I don't know, I don't think this is Eric's, but this might be Eric. Can't remember exactly, but looks beautiful. Always against the dock. Everybody loves it against the dock. It's one of the most favorite spots to do, right? It makes sense. It's right there. And then look at, look at this biome. Look at this biome. Look how we have to walk on there. Look at this. It's so full. It looks so, so good. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I love this feel. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful palm tree and the way using the, all the uh, banana trees over here. Look at that beautiful water back in the in the top. I really wanted to see it from the top and it looks so good. Oh my goodness, but this view over here, like this looks fantastic. And you see the forest of valor right up there. So this whole combination, as so we walk through the palm trees going up, you see your eyes are leading you up, you know? It's such a great, it's, KK, your composition is on point. The way you're leading my eyes to see things, you know, leading, lead them forward. Look at this, again, this looks fantastic. This just feels fantastic. There's nothing to it, you know? It, it's like, it's like you're almost covering the whole cliffs. There's something so different about this area. I never felt like this at the beach. And it's just the way you're using the plants and the trees and the and the coconuts and just everything and those giant ones that we get on from the other area and now they're here is it's fantastic truly fantastic oh my goodness so okay so we got stitch home over here as you can see having a nice little property area stitch look at this look at that very nice very nice and then over here, we're gonna we gotta we gotta take a peek, right? We gotta see what we're here. Seems like we got some type of like treasure island going on over here. There's a lot of treasure, pirates, everything, you know, and what a beautiful way to actually decorate and use April's home. Oh Ariel, sorry, Ariel. This is really good. This is really good. It almost is like this was underwater and then the water kind of drain and then now we see all the discovery like or somebody's using magic and just let all the water out like this if you don't know what to do with Ariel's home right I think this is one of the best compositions that I've seen I think this works fantastic it's the only little island you know put it right next to skull and you adding all this other stuff instead of making it feel like it's just playing it by itself this is a really great way this is absolutely amazing. Like amazing, amazing. And again, it all comes down the way she's using the items to make it feel like a little, like, like Ariel's treasure cape or only above water. I, I think this is genius. This is genius. This is so smart. I love the layering. I love all the items that she's using. And then all the plant life. All the plant life on point. 
Okay, gang. That's amazing. That is truly amazing. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this other area over here. This area that we haven't seen just yet. And look at this. Look at the Moana. And we got Moana's home. And look at that with the palm trees. Come on. Come on. Moana has it all. Look at that. And with the little stall, st her stall right here, selling all the fish. And what a beautiful combination. It just, it's combined perfectly again. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this path and we're gonna go up now. One of my favorite ways, if you've seen any of the other videos, you know how I like to come into the Forest of Valor. I always like it coming from this direction. I always feel like it gives you something when you take that turn. I really love it. And we're here, we're here. So let's take the Forest of Valor Let's take a turn. Oh my gosh. This is just incredible. How do you all make it feel like a forest forest? Is ah, And all the Tiki torches are so good. My goodness, look at the trees, look at the feel. Now, there's so much here. So, you know, if you need to pause it, you need to review it. You know, pay attention the way she's balancing all the nature with pathing. Go look at this. I love that it takes you here. Look at that. You can almost lose the pathing with how heavy the nature is, you know, and how much there is. And I love that the Pokemon, and then you got all the Pokemon, another Pokemon feel. Come on. Come on. You know you love it. You know you love it. This is truly epic. This is truly amazing. And again, there's not much that I can say. It's just take a look and take the way the nature is and the bushes and the combination. We're back with lavender, with the lavender feel. And then look at the home. Oh my gosh, look at the home. The fairy home, the trunk home. Look at that. It's perfectly for the, oh my gosh, it's just perfect. And I like that it's more in the middle over here. Like, like I've not seen, I used to see in the corners or at the edge and she did it right in the middle. I think this is so brilliantly, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I love it. I love it so much. And look at the way it looks to the back. And again, you know, pay attention to those details, pay attention to the way the spacing, you know, is, it's all about the layer of the nature, the way the trees, as we're walking, you know, you know, slow it down, mute my voice completely, you know, slow it down on YouTube and see everything, you know, I'm trying to talk and explain as much as I can of everything that we see, but it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So now we made it to her home for the looks of it right over here. So we got a beautiful uh, storage area over here. She got a nice view over here, you know, look at that, look, look at that nice sunset you know we got working stations over here we got the little flower area the little garden area as well but we're gonna get back to the forest because the forest is where it's at it's just truly magnificent and as you can see one, one of the best things about the forest and the way that i'm be doing these tours and the way that i'm understanding is the way they do the trees and i think one of the last ones that i did i talked about it and it's the way it feels full, right? Like, like let's just take an example. Let's stand right here and you look at the forest, right? You can see it, but you see a lot of trunks, but they're not blocking in a way the view. I don't know how many trials and error this takes to get it just like this, but it's such a good feeling. It is such a good feeling. All right, so we're gonna take in this direction over here. Because I love the way it's inviting me and it's calling me to come to the forest. Look at that. Again, look at those giant trunks. Like I'm trying to look up and look at that. It's just perfect. It's perfect for a forest. Oh my gosh, we got a little camping RV area. This is so cute. This is so good. Oh my goodness. I love the little RV area. Let's go. Oh my goodness. And then we got a little like camp camping over again. We got the little bench. We got the little picnic table. You know, you know, you RV, you park. Now you got a little out little outdoor seating area as well. Oh my goodness! 
and then we're gonna look towards this direction so this is the direction where we came in so forest of valor right over there this is the bridge area i want to just backtrack just a little bit because we missed the goofy stall again and very close to the design the one we did on the that she did on the beach i love this canopy you know area just like this putting the stall in the back putting a little bit of the shopping and the way that she put in the bike right next to it you know and then look at the way she's using this little uh the fencing the dividers on the side and doing it again on this side over here like really on point really on point and then again if you go to the forest valley on this direction oh my gosh do you see like from right here look at the side we got like an outdoor library again. Come on. I never seen such beautiful outdoor libraries. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's so good. And again, the biome, the trees, the grass, the trunks laying around. You know, the trunks are almost cut off and the rocks with the trunks falling on them. It really, all those little details, again, all the extra rocks and all that makes it feel like you're walking through a forest, right? Like it's a livable forest and just people are living inside there and leaving the rest to be very nature forest. Now, this is an amazing Merlin outdoor library for him. I mean, this is one of the best outdoor Merlin libraries that I've seen. Love the stack of books, love all of that. Love the little telescope, love, I mean, it just, look at this. And I love like the little desk area over there. Again, with the hutch and everything. If you needed ideas for an outdoor library, oh my goodness, that this is what you need, right? Love the crates over there. And the way she does, the, you know, one of the things, you know, I'm gonna leave it right here for a moment, but is look at the piles of books. Piles over here, piles over there, piles over here. You know, is ah, oh, it makes me so happy. It just makes me happy. It makes me happy to see all the hard work. And then the fencing. The fencing is really good. It's not one that you see every day. And using this one here actually works out so well. You know, it just makes it more rustic, more natural. It's great. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do. Now we're going to go towards the Frozen Plateau area. So we're going to go over there. We're going to take the official entryway because, you know, you, know, you, you got to take it this way, right? I don't know, but it just, it already feels majestic. It already feels majestic. I really like this feel. Uh, the gazebo right there with all the lamps, all the pine trees with the snow, but then we got blue ones on this side. And then we got the purple pine trees, like scattered. Oh, I already can tell that this is going to be such a magical experience. And look at the gazebo with the little fireplace right there. What a composition. What a composition. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's like, okay, you come over here, you, you, you get your ice skating, you bring shoes, you put them on, all of that. And then you go ice skating, ice skate, ice, ice skate, skating, ice skating. <laughs> There you go. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I love it. And then if you're too cold, come over here and get a little warm up. You know, get your hot chocolate, get stand next to the fire. Maybe you're a little hungry and they'll make you, you know, little s'mores. Oh my goodness. Again, again, if you look at it from this direction, I love the, the way the sitting area with the fireplace and all of that, the, the snowflakes, the whole composition is really good. It's just outstanding. And then we go over here again. We got the beautiful lavender that's across her island. Like she's rocking the lavender. Like it looks absolutely amazing. So let's come this way and look at the way the walkway is done with these pillars. Feel the pillars. Oh my goodness. This is so good. This is so good. I love the pillars. I love, I love, and I love, and I'll say it again. I love the pillars here. I think they work fantastic. I want to get it. I want to get a shot from this angle like this. Look, look at all the pillars leads you through the walkway. Oh my goodness. And then 
it leads you to this beautiful frozen fountain. And look at the castle behind it with the pines, with the beautiful bushes in the front, with the banners. Oh my gosh. This is such a beautiful centerpiece. Again, beautiful centerpiece. If you're looking for centerpieces, you know, there's some amazing ones in these islands already. This is so well done. So well done. Another little seating area over here, you know, because you want to take it in. You know, you want to see right here and look at the composition. I mean, if you take the bench, you already got a beautiful framing picture. Oh my gosh, like this will be so good. Just an area that you stand and take a little screenshot. Take the bench off and you have a beautiful screenshot area as well. Okay, okay, you like truly outdone yourself. Like all the decoration. Okay, so I'm gonna walk a little quicker because I wanna walk over the bridge and see how everything looks in this direction. And look at this. Look at this. Again, beautiful fire. Let's stay warm right next to it. The walkway is amazing. Amazing. And look at this area back here. We got kind of a little hot spring area, you know. Look at, you got the coal, you drop it there, the water gets really hot. And again, then you got your towels and bathrobes and all of it. You know, if you need, you know, you're out there in the cold and you want to take a hot spring in the cold. Never done that, never tried that. I don't know how that feels, but some people like it. Some people like it, right? And look at it again. We got another beautiful stall area and the designs of the stall, it, they're, they're amazing. They truly are amazing and with the crates and the tables and just the whole decoration around here. So good. Truly, it's truly, I mean, it's so well done. It's so well done. And look how it just curves right over here and leads you to this one. And then again, we're gonna curve and then it leads you this way. And then we get to our, and the other home over here. It's, it's amazing the way she made this, all of this feel, okay. So let me backtrack again, because I need to get a wider view of this. Like, take a view of this. It's such a different design. Like, it truly is. We normally see this house, and they're against the mountain, right? But she designed it in such a way, when you come in, it feels different. It took this area, and it feels like it's a whole different design. Like, a whole different layout. Like, we are a whole different biome. This is outstanding work. This is outstanding work, because... I'm so used to seeing it in a specific way, even if you put it in a different location, but they use the item in a similar way, right? All the time. And as you can see, we go this way. Uh, you can go behind here, you can see the trail, and then now you can get back into the way out. It's so amazing. I, I, I can't emphasize how cool this feel. And again, another beautiful ice king ice ring skating area i don't know why that's so hard for me to say today but it's beautiful the same design the same concept and look at the snowflake oh man so good and then right over here and then it leads you back down into the forest but when we stand over here in this direction it's just incredible it's incredible and the way she did this home right here in a whole different way it's clever. It's clever. Okay, so now let's go into the Sonla Plateau. All right, so now we're here in the Sonla Plateau, and I can't wait to return the camera, see what we see. Some people have done an amazing, incredible job in the Sonla Plateau, making it very different than what you ever expect to be on this biome. So you never know what we're going to find and see. But let's see. As we turn the camera... Okay, did we expect anything less? Oh man, I love, as soon as you turn the camera, Pry Rock. Look at that. Look at that. And then this feel of the depth. So you got the big palm tree over here and then Pry Rock. So you get this blend, you know, just creating this depth and sizes. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we got the casita. That is something that I've been loving. I've been loving seeing the casita way up here lately. I love it seeing it in the Sonla Plateau because it kind of matches. And look at all the water around. Oh, man. Okay, so let's walk to the casita area. And the casita, they're growing. They're growing 
They got their own little garden. They got their vi the vineyard going on. Little seating area out here. Really nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it so much. Okay. So if we continue to walk the pathway, as you can see, we got beautiful water. And I like... Okay. So let me... Let me... Because it's really hard to... Beautiful nature. But you got to find those specifically spots so you can see it all, right? So if we go right here, I love this feel. So you see the water on the top, right? And it feels like it comes down. You don't know what's on the top. So it could be like a pool of water that your imagination go. And then the water is cascading down again. Really clever design. Really clever design. Love that so much. And then we're going to continue over here. So we see Pride Rock over there. And then look at all those giant palm trees. It just gives it a whole different feel. A whole different feel once again. Love the walkway. They're never straight. You always got to go in an angle. Look at this wooden sitting sofas across the different areas. Very unique. Very nice. We come over here. And again, we have another amazing, beautiful centerpiece. Once again, if you're looking for centerpieces for in front of your house, those castles. These are beautiful. These are so beautiful. You know, and this castle looks really good up here also on the Sonla Plateau. You know, the color, the, those pastel, they match the atmosphere up here. This is really nice. Okay, so then I want to see it like this. And look at that pool of water. So when you come like this and you're coming in, look at that. Doesn't this feel cool? It feels amazing. It feels amazing. I, I, I love the way people how they all come up with different ways to use the waterfall walls. They're so good. They're so unique. All right, so we're going to go around here. And again, the Stone La Plateau feels very different. Sometimes I feel like, wait, am I supposed to go this way? Wasn't over there? Like, like you, you think about the passage, like you need to go in different directions. And now it's just the way she's laying things out. The way she's laying everything out. So now, as you can see, we, we make it to the back over here, right? So where we got a lot of the uh, the last little pond or little lake area. And as you can see, she has like a little orchard going on back here, right? And I think the color scheme, again, it really matches the contrast between that dark green and the light green. All together, complementing each other to create this amazing little contrast, you know, that stands out. So important, so important. But she's brilliantly doing it brilliantly again the beautiful vine lamps as we go around here and then if we look from the back as we come this way you can start seeing this the other shopping like a little shopping area so you can see we got the little uh, maybe here where people eat they buy their food you know and the beautiful waterfall area but I want to see why why people are sitting and as you can see here we go so we got the little stall we got crates we got food we got ice cream you need ice cream in here you know because it's it's probably warm it's probably very warm right uh, I, I love this I, I look at this this is so cool this is so nice I love this rearrangement I love the way she's in the statues it just makes it feel like a mini farm you know for for livestock I like this guy game I like this I like the way you I like your thinking and I like the way you think and the way you you're approaching things. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what we're gonna do, now we're gonna go to the last section, right? Now we gotta go to the forgotten. But look at this. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the feel and the emptiness and the trees. This is so cool. You did good. You did good. This is amazing. This is amazing. Just rocks and trees and bones and dried up uh, uh, bushes like the really that look more dried out this, that's so good that's clever again it's a beautiful transition into we lead into the forgotten lands now forgotten lands is one of the areas that most people say is one of the hardest to decorate right it's just hard you gotta find the right item the right theme that you want to do so i already can tell that i think kk found an amazing way to do this and already snack machines the flow va that looks a little abandoned i think looks great look at jack's home 
when you walk through here, okay, so we walk through the archway, right? Already perfectly placed, you know, and then that the Jack's home skeleton tree pumpkin, so bright calling. I mean, I see that. I freak out and walk the other way. Why do I want to walk this way? <laughs> it's like your first warning, like, whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, you know, it's it's incredible. Look, look at this combination. Look, look at the pathing. It's like the brick and it's kind of coming apart. So I really like that. Look at the trash in the floor, the snacks, the VA, broken bricks, piles in different area. Look at the trees. They're like just curving and creepy looking, creepy looking, right? All right, let's go this direction. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is actually very cool. So look how she's using the Monster Inc. Uh, uh, university building, you know? Oh my gosh, that is, you know? It's good, it's good. I mean, what more can I say? Look the archway, so we're going, we're going through the archway, we're going through here, we're gonna go down underneath. And then that's when you get your reveal and you're like, wait, that's this building. And then with the creepy fountain, that makes sense to go with the monsters too. Like, makes sense. And look at, and look at the, some of the uh, aquarium plant life that can, you know, this is smart too. Cause on those aquarium plants makes you feel like they're monster, like fits in the monster universe really great way to utilize those items like really great way like really great thinking by the way that is so smart it truly is so smart okay so as you can see we got a little bit of the candy so now one of my favorite places that i've seen that i feel like the candy stuff work is in the frozen area because it makes it feel like a magical place or over here also in the forgotten land because it could be a little spooky sometimes, depending how you want to do it. So I, I really like when people do it in these two places and that they're not afraid to do it and to use it. And look at this. And yeah. Yeah, we're in a... It's a little different vibe. I'm just telling you, it's a different vibe. When you do it over here, you do this on the snowing in the frozen area, it feels nice and safe. You do it over here, you're like, wait a minute. I'm in a creepy environment and there's this candy place. Mm, no, I'm not going in there, right? We're not going in there. <laughs> that's my thinking. That, that That's what I feel, you know, when I saw that, I was like, you know. KK, again, you did so good to create this story in my mind as I'm just walking. Because you're making me feel things that I'm like, mm, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Oh, this is so nice. Look at this. You're bringing that spooky level up. Four zero. Four zero. And then we got Jack. We got the car. Little pumpkin. You know, because, you know, you get, he has to have his pumpkins and more pumpkins over here. Oh, my goodness. And then little cauldron. And then, yeah. And then we made it to the end. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna need to do, we're gonna head to the plaza and have a last few, the last few thoughts. Let's go over there. Okay, so we're back to where everything began, my journey in this amazing valley. And what can I say? Inspiration everywhere. The nature is unbelievable, unbelievable. The way it's all decorated with the bushes, with the lavender, the lavender, the lavender stole the show. It stole the show. It's just an amazing incorporation to all these different biomes, you know? It, the, the beach area felt incredible with the giant palm trees, like such a different feel, you know? And the way she made the Forest of Valor, the way she's using some of the items to make it feel like, wait, I normally go this way, but I'm being forced to go this way. And it makes the biomes feel different, like, not the normal way, not the normal way that a lot of people use the item, really clever way. So I hope that will inspire so many of you to maybe be like, you know what? Maybe I want to use this house in a whole different way. You know, it's, it's truly incredible. And we want to say thank you so much to KK to let us come in, 
you know, to the valley to let me talk about what I see, what it makes me feel, you know, and just break it down in my own way because I truly love the way you guys all decorate everything that you guys do. And it's truly amazing the way everybody approaches the game in such a different way, the way their taste, their uniqueness, the items, the just everything. And it's so amazing. And I want to say thank you. And don't forget to check out KK on the description below, right there, click on that, check out her channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe, you know, because if you're looking for more DDV content and for what we saw today, I think you are in a magical place. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, more valleys, more of everything, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.